This is Rock and Roll in Excess. Jimmy Page vs. The Great Beast Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page had a fascinating interest in the occult and esoteric subjects. This was first developed in his teens after finding a copy of a monograph called Magic by Aleister Crowley. Crowley, who was often referred to as the Great Beast, was a highly influential British occultist and ceremonial magician who lived from 1875 to 1947 and was associated with various controversial and dark practices. Crowley had previously lived and practiced his arts in Boleskine Manor, located on the shores of Loch Ness in Scotland. It was here he performed black magic rituals, including a complex and intense magical process aimed at contacting one's, quote, holy guardian angel, unquote. He founded a philosophical and spiritual system called Thelema based on a Greek phrase which referred to will or desire. The central tenet of Thelema is, do what thou wilt. In 1971, Page purchased Boleskine Manor, along with its legendary occultish and somewhat sordid history. Page's affinity for Crowley and the occult was evident even before he purchased the home. Led Zeppelin III's vinyl pressing, for instance, was inscribed with the phrase, do what thou wilt. The symbols ascribed to each band member on Led Zeppelin IV with the band's iconic Zoso symbol were inspired by a magical discipline called sigil magic where there was a pictorial signature of a deity or spirit. Another occult influence on Page was the Hermit's Tarot card. He adopted this symbol as his personal emblem and used it on his guitars, amplifiers and other musical equipment. The Hermit card is associated with introspection, solitude and spiritual seeking. After acquiring Boleskine House, rumors began to circulate about strange occurrences and supernatural events surrounding Led Zeppelin and their connection to Crowley. Some stories claim that the band experienced paranormal activities and that the property was haunted by malevolent forces. Additionally, there were tales of black magic rituals being performed during Led Zeppelin's time there. While the stories about the band's experiences at Boleskin House have been the subject of speculation and myth, there's no denying that Page's fascination with the occult and their connection to Crowley added to the mystique and rumors that surrounded them. In 1975, Page spoke about Boleskine Manor. Quote, the bad vibes were already there, he told Rolling Stone. A man was beheaded there, and sometimes you can hear his head rolling down. Of course, after Crowley, there have been suicides, people carted off to mental hospitals, unquote. Five years before Page bought the home, a previous owner shot himself in what had been Crowley's bedroom. Adding to the dark lure around it, legend says the house replaced a church that burnt down while the congregation was inside, killing everyone. Page sold the house in 1992 before it burnt down in 2015 and again in 2019. Since then, a foundation took ownership and began renovations on the property. In May of 2023, the home was open to the public. If you like this video, subscribe, give us a like, and we'll keep doing more.